Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to enable FreeSync on a non-FreeSync compatible monitor. This does not work on every display, but it should work on most modern displays. So, this will work on HDMI, DVI single link, or even VGA. I have not tested it on other displays, or display output, or cables, whatever, but... It should work on most, except for it does not seem to work on DisplayPort. Don't know why, but this is the tool you're going to need. Custom Resolution Utility. I'll put a link in the thing. MonitorTest.com. Download the file here, and then just extract them somewhere. I'll just replace these just so you can see that I'm actually doing them. I'll open it up. I have two monitors here, so I'm going to go to the monitor I want to enable. So first of all, this monitor right here, FreeSync not supported on either device. This utility is open. Go to the monitor you want to enable this on. Go down to extension blocks here. Do not click add. Click edit. Once here, you can click Add, and then you'll click FreeSync Range. This monitor I'm on, I've tested at 41 to 60. I'd highly recommend on a 60 hertz trying 50 to 60 first, and if that doesn't work, try 55. Not all monitors will get a very good range. Many of them can get about 40 to 60, some get 30 to 60, some won't work at all. Newer monitors seem to do a lot better. Most 75 hertz panels can really get like 50 to 75. It really depends on your panel here. Now, if you have a 144 hertz monitor, this actually is not going to work because your monitor is going to be either DisplayPort or it's going to be uh, DVI. And if it's DVI, it's dual link. This does technically work with DVI, but when you do that, it changes it to DVI single link, and you will not get 144 hertz while you're using DVI single link. And this method does not work on display port, so most display port these days would have free sync. And I don't know if it works on HDMI 1.1 or 1.2, but generally monitors that have HDMI 1.2 or higher would have free sync if they had higher than 60 hertz anyways so you add this free sync range click OK click OK here and you'll click restart 64 or restart this will restart your graphics driver I'm gonna have to actually do this in a separate video here I'll have to link them together because my OBS will crash when I restart my graphics driver so give me one second right here